<laughs> let's give it a bit. Let's give it a bit of craziness on the lead channel. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, my name's Tim Scott. I'm here today to talk a bit about the passion I have for creating music and the place that this amplifier plays in the sounds that I create. This is called the Soldano SLO 100 or Slow 100 Super Lead Overdrive. This is like the Ferrari of the amp world um, or Lamborghini or whatever your preference for crazy sports car might be. This is not a gear review really, although I will tell you a little bit about um, the equipment. I'm using Celestian Vintage 30s today and recording all this, my vocal and everything in the room, just on a Neumann TLM 103 direct into my iPhone. So if I just play a little bit of a clean song, I'm going to play a little bit of the rhythm from Angel Dust. Okay, so basically this amp has two channels, a clean channel and a lead channel, but the clean channel also has a bit of crunch on it. But before I get to that, I'll put a bit of delay on and I'll play a little bit of um, the intro to Ibiza's Secret Garden. So we get this. Okay, so if I go to some of these little switches we've got on the front here, we've got a normal or bright switch, okay. I don't usually use the bright. Because when you crank it any louder than very, very, <laughs> very quiet, like I'm doing at um, the volume that I'm speaking at today, so we're keeping it within government guidelines currently of 85 dB. So um, the bright switch is quite helpful because it adds a little bit of top end, but when it, the amp gets louder, it's, excuse me, it tends to make it sound um, overly bright. But if you had a Gibson through it or something like that, there's a bit more muddy sounding, it could be great for cleaning it up. The other switch we've got underneath here, if I just turn the gain back on the normal channel to about three or four, um, is it goes from clean to crunch. So it can add, you can either have a really clean rhythm channel or first channel, or you can have it set so it's a bit more crunchy. Do you see what I mean? So you get a kind of slightly more overdriven sound. So it's a really bluesy tone that you can get. about this amplifier is it has the most sublime lead tone it's amazing you can understand why players like Mark Knopfler Gary Moore and Eric Clapton bought these amps for that sound so as we hit the lead channel you get amazing sustain from notes particularly you know lead notes so you get right next to the amp so we are getting a little bit of amp hum there but I hope you can really appreciate you know the sort of ear splitting uh, territory that this goes to this amplifier right now the overdrive um, output is on less than half um, the gains on about seven I'm not going to touch the tone controls because I set them how they sound good with the guitars I have I tend to have the bass on full the mid on about four the treble on about four maybe the presence on about seven it's pretty standard. I'm not gonna move them about because it'll just spoil the, the beauty of the sound, basically. But if I give you a bit of uh, craziness on the, on the lead channel. Let's give it a bit of craziness on the lead channel. Let's give it a bit of craziness on that lead channel. <laughs> Let's give it a bit. 
let's give it a bit of craziness on the lead. <laughs> so fantastic about this amplifier is being able to ride the volume control on your guitar to kind of get uh, more dynamic out of the notes which is really unusual to go from <laughs> start with the volume backed off and we just start Thanks for watching. My name's Tim Scott. If you like my music, please check it out on Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, wherever you listen. Take care. Have a wonderful day.